Hello everyone, welcome to Food Emmy. In today's video, we have come up with some ways as to how to keep your food knowledge updated during this quarantine time. So we have actually come up with this video since it is the need of the hour as many of us are actually struggling to learn new things and stay updated since all the school, colleges as well as coachings remain off. Well, you need not worry as we are here to suggest you some ways. First thing I would like you all to see this time as an opportunity where we have all the time we might have always wished for and we can utilize it best. So let's get started. First is online courses. There are huge number of online courses which are available online starting from minimum prices to even courses which are free of cost. They've, many of these provide certificate also and uh, there are a huge number of websites offering them. For example, Coursera, Udemy or uh, we have uh, Alison.com and then many more like, uh, like Swayam, Eggmock, NPTEL etc. So there is a variety of courses and you can choose as per your interest. These courses will help you not only boost your knowledge but also enhance your CV as per your interest. For example, if you want to brush your knowledge in the area of food safety and quality, so we have courses starting from the very basic one. For example, there is a course as basic food safety, basic knowledge by Alison.com. And then there are more advanced one or more specific one. For example, there is a course ISO 22000 2018 FSMS by Udemy. So we can choose starting from very basic to higher level as per your interest. Now there are other food technology related courses also. For example, you can find certain courses related to dairy or related to cereals, agriculture, uh, and then many courses such as food, uh, food intolerance and, aller and allergy. This is uh, an example of one course by Udemy. So there are many more courses. We, uh, we will suggest you to check out all these websites for all the courses which are available as well as the upcoming courses. We will make sure to leave the links in the description box so that you can find these websites easily. Another courses which you can pursue is your personality development courses. Well, before I get started on this, it is very important to suggest you all why personality development and communication skills becomes so important. Whenever company are calling us for interview and all, they are actually, you know, not trying to assess our knowledge. See, if they were interested in actually knowing our knowledge, looking at our UG or PG mark sheet is probably enough to give them an idea of the knowledge we have gained of that particular subject. So in an interview, they're basically trying to, you know, focus on how much confident we are, what kind of personality we hold, and then what are our communication skills. So all these things hold importance, not only during the interview, but also after the interview. Once you start your jobs, the way you interact with your colleagues, you know, the way you can present yourselves in uh, during the meetings and all, what presentation skills you have, how, uh, with what confidence, you know, you can um, pe convince people to uh, believe your idea or to trust in you uh, with your presentation skills. So all these matters very much. So you can choose a lot of personality de development courses as well as communication courses available on variety of websites and brush your personality and your skills for the same. Uh, other online ways include, you know, uh, after this lockdown, many institutions and many uh, colleges and organizations have come up with arranging online webinars for all of us so that it can help us stay updated. So, you know, I request you all to stay updated to all those webinars which are being arranged by certain organizations. For example, even FSSAI arranged a webinar on licensing and registration procedure a uh, few days back. So, such kind of webinars you stay updated to. These will help you boost your knowledge. Then there are certain apps also which can help you boost your knowledge. Talking specifically about food tech, I will, re uh, I will talk about an app Maniaversity. So this app has food tech quizzes which you know you can, uh, you can go through all those quizzes and update your knowledge. Uh, next is I, I suggest you if you all are actually planning to give certain competitive exams in future for example GATE 2021, UGC NET or UPSC or any other competitive exam this is the correct time to you know start preparing for it actually many of us might feel that you know we do not have certain books and all to get started on it and all but actually there is a huge amount of data available online many of it even being free of cost available for you to prepare there are number of websites for example gradup and many more offering free mock test free videos few uh, free lectures also and then youtube remains a very good source for learning all these where you can find uh, certain aptitude videos or certain other topic videos, whatever you wish to learn. Then, for example, if you want to start preparing for GATE 2021, 
we will suggest you to go and watch uh, Food Emmy Salt Gate question paper videos for which we will make sure to uh, again enclose the links in the description box. You can go through these videos where we have solved each question which came up in the gate exam also explaining the concept behind it. So this will help you, you know, brush up your basic food tech and also give you an idea about the kind of questions asked in the gate exam. There is one more video by Food Emmy, which is the gate analysis video in which we have analyzed the past five years gate exams and, you know, uh, highlighted all the topics which have been repeated in the past five years in the gate exam. So going through that video will give you an idea of what all important topics we have in gate exam and after you have a very rough idea of all of this, you can start preparing when, uh, uh, as per your target. Then last is Food Emmy is also helping you stay updated in this time by arranging, you know, we have this interesting, uh, interesting quizzes, interesting facts we are updating daily on our FB as well as Instagram page. We will uh, enclose the links for them in the description box. You can go through them. For example, have you ever un wondered is there any difference between lime and lemon or why tetra pack is called tetra pack even though tetra pack has six layers and not four or some other interesting facts. So we have got the answer of all of these. We are coming up with a very, uh, very interesting Instagram post during this lock uh, lockdown period. So you follow Food Emmy and stay updated with such interesting facts. And also during this time, we have arranged a special lockdown series on our Instagram page. You can go uh, online every day and participate in the quiz and stay updated next day for another interesting question and the answer of the question you gave for the previous day. Team Food Emmy wishes you good luck. Stay productive, stay home and stay safe and keep your knowledge updated. If you like this video, please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for many more upcoming videos from Foodem.